Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to calculate formal charge. Calculating formal charge is pretty easy. I'm going to show you the shortcut of how to do it. Really, all you have to do is follow this formula that formal charge equals the number of valence electrons minus the number of dots minus the number of lines and that's how that's how you calculate formal charge i'm going to sh and then next i'm going to show you a couple examples to reinforce the point so the first one we're going to look at is nitrate to calculate formal charge you have to have the Lewis dot structure. Either you, you'll be provided with it or you will have to draw it. If you're struggling with drawing Lewis dot structures, you can take a look at my video of how to draw that. So for to calculate the formal charge we of each of these elements, we just follow this formula. Let's start with nitrogen. So for nitrogen, the number of valence electron is 5. And the reason I know that is because if you look at the periodic table, you'll see that nitrogen is in the fifth column of the periodic table. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how we know it has five valence electrons. Then minus the number of dots. So around this nitrogen right here, you see there are no dots. What I mean by dots are the lone electrons. So zero dots, and then the number of lines, which is the number of bonds, you see there's one, two, three, four around the nitrogen. We do the map and we get positive one. So the form of charge of the nitrogen is positive one. Next, let's take a look at this oxygen right here. The number of valence electron of oxygen is six, minus the number of dots. You can see it's one, two, three, four dots, minus number of lines, one, two. And that's gonna give you a formal charge of zero. Next, let's take a look at this auction. The auction has its valence, six valence electrons, minus the number of dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then minus the number of lines, which is one. And then that gives us a formal charge of negative one. And then lastly, for this one, it's six, minus the number of dots, which is also six, minus the number of lines is one, and then that gives you a formal charge of negative one. Notice that the sum of the formal charge is equal to the total charge of the compound. So we have negative one plus one plus negative one plus zero, that gives us a total of negative one, which is the overall charge of this ion. Great, let's uh, take, do another example. Next we have carbon monoxide, CO, and this is the Lewis dot structure. We're gonna use the formula to figure out the formal charge of each of these atoms in the compound. So for oxygen, six valence electrons minus two dots minus three lines, giving us a formal charge of positive one. And then for carbon, it has four valence, valence electrons because you can see carbons in the fourth column of the periodic table minus two dots minus three lines, and then that gives us a formal charge of negative one. And then we can confirm that this is correct because the charge negative one plus positive one gives us the overall charge of the compound, which is zero because carbon monoxide is neutral. And then lastly, let's do one more final example just to drive home the point. So we'll start with the nitrogen. Again, the formula is the number of valence electron, which for nitrogen is five minus the number of dots. There are no lone electrons around the nitrogen, so zero. And then minus the number of lines, one, two, three, four, four bonds around the nitrogen. And then that gives us a formal charge of positive one. And then for each of the hydrogens, hydrogen has a formal charge, I mean, has a one valence electrons minus no dots, no lone electrons around the hydrogen, and then minus one bond. So that gives us a form of charge of zero. All the other hydrogens look exactly the same, so we know these also, these hydrogens also has a form of charge of zero. And then notice the sum of the form of charges, zero, 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 and positive one, gives us the overall charge, which is positive one. And that's it, that's really how you calculate form of charge. It really just comes down to this formula. You may see a different formula in your textbook with the one half, and the bonding electrons and the non-bonding electron, but this is just a much easier way to calculate formal charge. Just remember, formal charge is the number of valence electrons minus the dots minus the number of lines. And then if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, because I'll be posting up tons of videos throughout this semester that will help you do better in chemistry and conquer chemistry. And then if you like my 
teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time.